Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a heat proof, sweat proof makeup tutorial, aka the makeup that I have packed with me to Asia and the makeup that I have been wearing every single day since I've been here. So if you've seen any makeup through my Instagram or Instagram stories, a lot of you, a lot of you asked about the makeup that I was wearing in my Monica Vinader post. And this is the exact makeup that I have been wearing on the daily, switching up like maybe a lip or two, but I wanted to show you guys the best of the best products that I bought on this very hot uh, journey. So it's been about plus 35 degrees Celsius every day. I have been sweating repeatedly over and over again if you don't know if you're new to my channel or slightly new to my summer ventures i'm a very very sweaty person for some reason annoyingly extra sweaty on my face i just sweat from every pore and it pours down my face the second i enter any kind of heat or humidity so i did want to mention a slight disclaimer because that's what the people do <laughs> this makeup isn't going to stop you from sweating i've basically come to terms with the fact that no amount of thick or glam makeup lives on my face in the heat. It just doesn't. My sweat absolutely sweats every morsel of makeup off of my face whenever I try to do it. So when I'm going to a hot country, I just pray that I don't have a very tragic breakout that I need to cover because I know that the makeup's gonna be gone shortly after. I don't wear a lot of like thick, heavy coverage makeup in general, but when I am in a hot climate, I especially avoid it. And I wanted to mention that my kind of version of sweat proof and heat proof is makeup that's not gonna look horrible once you are sweating and jumping in pools and wandering around in the heat. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. This makeup look is basically a makeup that if you jump in the pool, if you go in the ocean, if you're on a very sweaty stroll, you're not gonna get horrible streaky makeup down your face. This is makeup that kind of wears really nicely in the heat and in intense sweaty situations. So that is my kind of version a sweat proof heat root makeup, aka avoid all powders. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna be doing here for you guys today. I'm gonna start with the moisturizer. I packed the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus. This is the travel size one. This is not sponsored or affiliated by Clinique. Nothing in this video is sponsored, as a matter of fact. This is completely just me and my sweaty face coming at you, but I wanted to show you guys the kind of like full process. I'm applying the moisturizer, applying? <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm applying the moisturizer. I'm also going to apply my lip balm. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Glaze. <coughs> All right, so moving on to the base. In heat, I like to use something very, very light, very, very bronzed, warm, glowy, got a little bit of coverage, gotta have your SPF in there, and I'm using a mixture of three products to do my base concoction. They're all fantastic, and I'm just gonna mix them all here for you today. So the first thing I'm using is the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. You guys would have seen this if you watched my Milk Makeup Full Face Friday. I will link in the description box down below if you haven't seen it. Uh, this, is when, this is fantastic. This is everything that I wanted the Glossier Skin Tint to be. I have previously used my Glossier Skin Tint on any hot travel I've done, but this one's better because it just has slightly more coverage than a skin tint, and it also has SPF 30. So if I wanted, I could just use this by itself. It has great sun protection, and the coverage is nice and light. It's not too intense, so you can't see it balling up. It fades really nicely off of the skin, and you can't see it in the direct beaming sunshine. So that's what I'm using first. I'm taking a little bit of the Drunk Elephant De Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Serum. I use it just to add a little bit of bronze because I brought this sunshine skin tint, but I have a little bit of a tan now. Thank God. <laughs> so I'm mixing that in to add a little bit of extra warmth. And then if you watched my haul with Anna, I think that one was on her channel. I'll link it in the description box down below. I recently purchased the Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint Physical Daily Defense. This is as if these two are mixed in this bottle. It's a really lovely tinted sunscreen. It does not make my skin feel irritated or scratchy or itchy, which a lot of chemical sunscreens do. It's been amazing and it has prevented any burns from happening on my face. It's been fabulous and because it does have a little tint, it's actually really, really nice on this own. So if I am just going to the pool or just having a beach day, I put this on by itself and it's beautiful and lovely and glorious, but because I want something a little bit warmer, a little bit more coverage, I'm mixing all three, all right? All three together. So I'm gonna take about a Pump and a half of the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. A little of the debronzy. And then I'm going to take my sunscreen and mix all three of those together. I just realized I didn't grab a mirror. What a mistake. <laughs> Oops. 
<laughs> rub that all over my face you can see it just adds like a very very healthy wash of color it has a little bit of skin tone evening so it takes away some of the redness and harshness on my skin always at the top of my ears too with some excess product because the ears get burnt too kids and that's it that's the base very very glowy very warm and protected from the sun too so because i have these big spots normally i just would completely skip concealer but just in case you are going out for dinner or anything like that. If this is your evening look, I am gonna take a little bit of concealer. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I have the shade Custard, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on my chinny chin, chin. And this one fades really nicely too. I don't really notice it when I start to sweat all of my makeup off. So I'm just gonna put a little bit around my nose where I have a lot of like red veins and then just on the top there because my freckles are like really intense on my nose right now and right here and it kind of just looks like I have a splotch on my nose. So I'm just putting a little bit of concealer. Yeah, all right, that's the base folks. Moving on to the bronzing products. I have packed the Nudies Bondi Bay Matte Stick with me, love this, took the brush off because I hate the brush. I get a lot of questions asking whether I prefer this one or the Milk Makeup Baked Bronzer, and both of them, I pretty much like them equally. The Milk Makeup one is slightly more cool toned. This one's a little bit warmer. I remember doing this in a video or an Instagram story once. I can't remember off the top of my head what the actual numbers were, but I'm pretty sure that the Milk Makeup was actually a better bang for your buck in terms of how much product you get in it. However, this one is smaller and more compact, and that is why I chose to pack this one with me on this trip. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of a cream bronzer, which is melting in the lid. Oh my God. <laughs> Sheath toasty here, folks. I'm gonna do one stripe on each side. Maybe do <laughs> go along my jawbone and I just do one line across my forehead. And then as always, I tug my Elf Stipple brush because it's a dual fiber brush. It can be used for cream or powder, which is half of the miracle of this brush. I love it. And I just use that to blend this out. And the reason why I'm using cream products, you guys will see all of my products are cream because if I use powder and if I use a powder to set in my makeup, that is when you'll get the sweat streaks. You'll get those lines going through your bronzer if you're wearing powder bronzer. And I find that with this cream bronzer, especially because it's a little bit light, it's not too intensely pigmented like I'd normally go for with my bronzer. I don't get any streakage. It just fades really, really naturally into my skin and once I start sweating everything off you can't actually see it which is really nice but it does just add a lovely little tint and that is the bronzer applied I'm gonna go in with the highlighter this one is new and it's so it's so beautiful and it smells so good this is the Burt's Bees all aglow I have this in the shade shimmer Ooh golden shimmer this is their new all aglow sticks they have highlighting sticks and blush as well this is technically their bronzer stick but I'm like this is definitely a highlighter. It looks exactly like the Glossier Halo Scopes and they smell so good. It smells like sweet candy. So I'm gonna use this as my highlighter. They are so beautiful, very natural and glowy. And the thing I like about this one is that I actually apply it like this and I don't even feel the need to blend it in. I do out of like principle and habit, but it's such a natural glow giving product that I don't even feel like I need to blend it in with my fingers. So I take that on the high points of my face and I'm also just gonna put that on my collarbones for an extra bit of juicy juice. So gorgeous. Love this new launch from Earth Bees. They're fantastic. The blush I'm gonna use for you today is also from the haul I did with the Anna Edit. This is the Nude Stick Sunset Strip blush. Now they recently launched this along with two other new shades. I didn't pick up the other two. This was the one I gravitated towards the most because this is like the deep coral blush of my dreams. I've been looking for a color like this. I wanted something that I could just put on in the summer and it would look like that like really nice in between when you get a little bit of a burn and it turns into a tan. This is like that in between when the burn is turning into the tan and you just have that lovely fresh like sun-kissed glow without any skin damage. So I'm a huge fan of this color. This is the cream blush of the summer, if you will, for me. I'm just gonna apply that. That was a lot, I'm gonna regret that. <laughs> Cause that's the thing, it's very, very pigmented. I do like to use my MAC 188 brush to do this. I'm gonna try doing it with my hands because I always see them do that on the nude sticks Instagram. But I feel like I'm just so much more uh, precise with my application when I'm using my brush, but this color is just so gorgeous. And again, in that photo on my Instagram with Monica Vinader, everyone was asking what blush I'm using, and this is the one. It's just the most gorgeous, like sun-kissed, peachy color. I'm gonna take the remnants on my hands and just put that on my eyelid. Oh, I think it's just stunning. 
Love that, love the shade. This is everything for the base, you guys. So super light, super glowy. And a little bit warm and sun-kissed. I'm gonna set my brows using the Benefit Gimme Brow. I'm not filling in my brows because I can't be bothered whatsoever. For the mascara, I'm using this Burt's Bees Nourishing Mascara. This is a black mascara. Previously in Heat, I had packed the Tarte Lifted Mascara, and that's because it's brown, so it doesn't look as crazy when it, you know, sweats off of you. And it was also part of their, like, athleisure line, so it was made to be sweat in. And I really, really loved that previously in the summertime, but I recently used this one from Burst Bees, and it's black. It's super light. I'm gonna show you guys how it applies right now. I just put a nice little layer on of this, but I don't know what the magic about this is. Even when I jump in the water, if I go swimming with this, I do kind of like one eye wipe and it's completely off of my eyes. I don't get any raccooning. It's not smudgy all over my face. It just, it just comes off with one wipe, which is why it's been fantastic as a beach mascara for me because I don't use waterproof mascaras. I've tried them in the past and it's just like a painful experience removing a waterproof mascara. So I stay away from them. Definitely use one if you feel Feel more comfortable with that but this one I just put one little layer on my lashes and it comes off so nicely and easily and completely painless in the heat and that's why I've been liking it for the lips I'm gonna use my max strip down lip pencil if I was actually just going to the beach I had put nothing else other than my lip balm on but I wanted to show you guys the lip I've been wearing which I've also already worn a ton and I think it's still not out yet it's supposed to come out in March but I don't think it's out quite this early in March just apply the lip pencil, rub it in with my finger, and then I'm using the Lancome Mademoiselle Shine in the shade number 157, stands out, and this is just a gorgeous tinted red. It's such a nice, juicy wash of color. It's kind of like an orangey red. It's so gorgeous. I've just been putting one little slap of this on, and this is the makeup that I've been wearing. This has been my go-to sweat-proof, heat-proof makeup, and I wanted to actually put it to the test for you guys, so I'm going to just show you. This is the final look. I feel like I got a little something something here. I don't really know what, what's going on. I can't see, I didn't bring a mirror. I am useless. But I wanted to actually show you guys what I mean when I jump in the water and my face still looks somewhat normal. Like I can jump in the water with this and then go eat or do whatever, live my best life without worrying about any touch-ups. GoPro, record. Okay, so the GoPro's recording, you guys. We're gonna go jump in the water and put this makeup to the test. mirror because I couldn't see what I was doing and I just wanted to show you guys what I mean with this mascara like it just wipes off just like a little there's no crazy black raccooning like I don't have a huge circles under my eyes from the mascara and I have absolutely no streaks left over on my bronzer or anything sorry I should have like wiped off my mouth <laughs> because the water is just still dripping down from my head. Yeah, but everything just fades super nicely and I just jumped in the pool and this is how it looks and it's kind of the same like as I go throughout a very, very sweaty day. My makeup just doesn't look crazy. It fades so nicely. So that's why I wanted to show you guys this makeup look. I think it's perfect if you're doing any kind of hot weather travel. All of my followers who live in these hot climates, kudos to you for putting up with this heat and humidity. I don't know how you do it. I also can't believe how many of you live in Southeast Asia. I can't believe how many followers I have from Southeast Asia. It's insane. So. Hopefully this is beneficial for you and for all my fellow Canadians. I'm sorry for teasing you with this weather, but if anyone's going on a hot vacay or a trip or just prematurely getting ready for summer, then this is the makeup for you. So I wanted to show you guys everything I used and packed and actually put it to test for you on the camera. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what some of your favorite kind of sweat proof, heat proof makeup products are in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you in Tuesday's video. Bye!